a um, kind of different video. This is actually a debugging um, tutorial or debugging example. Um, there was a guy coming to my forum and he asked, um, or well, he said that he had a problem and we couldn't really figure out what the problem was by writing to each other. Um, so he requested that I made a video to show how the debug debugging process would work by using his example. So what I have here is a um, exam an example of um, the tower defense series. Uh, I think it was part two um, that went wrong. Whoops. And um, let's just see what the error is because we expect this to work, so we run it. Just gonna remove that line. I made that myself. Um, so we run it and we click play and we can see it crashes and this is one of the, the worst kind of errors because it's really um, it, it can be hard to understand what's going on here because uh, it prints out a lot of text so <clears throat> the first thing instead of trying to read this. I mean, we can quickly hoover through it and if we can't really figure out what the problem is, we are going to try and debug um, a way that I, I debug this way a lot. And first we try to locate when exactly the error happened. Now, the error happened when we press, pressed um, play, this button here. So, we try and follow, um, follow along with what the program is doing. And what it should be doing is that it should be going to this game view controller, this, this uh, class here, this view controller here, and the first method it should call is view did load. Oh, let me just increase the text size. Yeah, and the first method it should be calling is view did load. So we go down and we see view did load super view did load. We don't do anything in that uh, that method here. So unless there's something wrong with the super um, viewed load method, which there shouldn't be because we haven't messed with it, um, this should all be fine. Okay, so what's the next next thing that's happening? Have we implemented any other methods um, that will fire on startup? Um, this here won't know. Um, did receive memory warning? No, not that one either. Mm, view did appear. Yeah, okay, we implemented that one. So this method will be called after the view did load method. All right, and we see we're doing a lot of work here, um, quite a bunch actually. So what I like to do is that I place a breakpoint by clicking on the top line here in this method because I know the program should be going to this method um, without any problems. And when it gets to this point, I want to take it line by line to see exactly which line is bogging up. So we try and run this. Uh, okay, don't know what that error was all about. Um, should be running. The springboard failed to launch application. Okay, I've never seen that before. Um, might have to do a clean. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go, we just had to close down the simulator. Um, so we try and press play, play again, and we can see that now we stop. Um, we stop right here, so this is actually the line we're um, in the middle of. And we say, okay, we see if, now what we're going to do is that we take the lines one by one, or the statements one by one, and we see exactly which statement is causing us um, trouble if it is indeed in this method. Press next. Okay, it went further, so we know that it wasn't this um, this statement here. That was fine. Okay, then we try, we make an array of a new array that shouldn't give us any problems either. Okay, so we know it's not these two lines. They passed the test, they are running just fine. Uh, waypoint sorted, so, okay, so that's when we sort. Try and press on. Well, and there we have it. Okay, so now we know that this line here, line 51, is indeed the line that is bugging up. So now we try and analyze what exactly is this doing. Uh, it's telling our waypoint sorted array, which is the array we made up here, 
to sort using descriptors. We make an empty array with one object sort. And the object sort we made up here is a normal NS descriptor, a sort descriptor with a key text in ascending order. So it should be looking at each object in the waypoint sorted, which is actually the waypoint collection array, looking at the text property and then sort it in ascending order. Okay, so then we try and look at the text again because I don't really feel like that gives us any idea as to what to do. Uh, it's terminating app due to uncaught exception, NS unknown exception reason, and then it says UI view, some reference number, value for undefined key. This class is not key value coding compliant for the key text. So it, it can be a little hard to understand, but what we know for sure is that it's saying something about a UI view object not being coding compliant for the key text. Now the key text is what we specified up here. So it's actually saying that while it was trying to access the text property of all the objects in this array, it, it came to stumble upon a UI, UI view object that, that couldn't um, or, or that didn't have a text property. Okay, so this begs the question, how on earth did we get, did we get um, a normal UI view object in? Because we should only have labels in. Okay, so this is our game. And if you place the assistant editor here, uh, let me hide this. You can see that this is um, the waypoint collection array. Now this array, if you hover over this um, circle here, you can see all the collections made. And the first thing we see is that uh, all the labels are hooked up except for this label, A. Okay, so we need to hook that one up. It, ha it hasn't been hooked up. Okay, try again. Okay, we can see that, that now all the labels are hooked up, but you can also see that when I hover over this, the view itself gets highlighted. Okay, so we try and control click the view, and we can actually see that it's re referenced by an outlet collection called Waypoint Collection in the Game View Controller. Okay, that's the error. We are actually adding a UI view, the background itself, to our waypoint of labels. So we press cross here, and I see we actually added it two times. So we press uh, the cross again, try and hover over it, and now we can see only the labels are selected. And they should all have a text property. So um, now we've gotten a, st a step further. We, we took um, some action, we corrected something that we think might sort the code out. So we remove the original breakpoint because now we want to see if the program can actually run now. Press play. Yeah. And there we have it. <laughs> oh, nice creep, man. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. We can see that now it's actually running. Um, so the error was indeed that this UI view was being added to an array that should only be full of labels. And then when we tried to sort them using their text property, uh, it was impossible because the UI view we added here, it, it doesn't, doesn't have a text property. But the labels does have a text property, so it can sort the labels. But when it encountered the view and tried to sort that one, it couldn't figure out what to do with it. And then it just uh, throws everything down and says, well, that's it, I'm done. This shit doesn't work. So uh, here's 200 lines of error code. Uh, try and figure it out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, so that's actually what it's doing. But we fixed it now, and the approach I took there is a general approach. First, you locate the error. Then you add either NS log statements or breakpoints. Um, usually, you just add a breakpoint if you know where your program is going. But if you're not entirely sure which is happening first and where your program is exactly going and exactly which method is getting called, you can place a bunch of NS log statements and you can see which NSLog statements didn't get called, and then add breakpoints 
just before those NS log statements, so you can see why they're not getting called. And then when you locate the line of code that has the error, it's much, much easier to read the error text that it produces because you have some idea as to um, which objects are affected and where in your program you are. Um, you have some basic idea of the different factors that are um, playing into this error um, that your program is producing. So, um, yeah, all right, I think, uh, or well, I, I hope you got some insight in debugging and the process behind it. Uh, I would say that maybe you spent half your time writing code and half your time debugging. Or, well, maybe two-thirds of your time coding and a third uh, debugging. Debugging is a really big process of writing, um, uh, writing programs. Um, it, it takes a lot of time and you, I, I don't think that anyone has ever written a decent sized program without getting any errors. You will always get errors. Even, even if you're an expert, you will get errors. Um, and you'll spend time fix, fixing it, locating them, and you can even see major companies, they are still fixing errors. In, when they release games, they release patches that has bug fixes and all sorts of stuff. So it's a common process and everyone's doing it. So um, yeah, get used to it. Uh, anyways, I hope you learned something and I hope it fixed your program, mate. Um, go ahead and try it out. See if uh, you can get it working and if you can't, just um, put in a post on my forum and I'll get back to you. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.